Today we will learn some interesting examples related to chance and probability. Read the following situations to find out whether they are certain, impossible or can happen by chance. If the price of one chocolate is rupees 5, then price of 10 chocolates will be 50. If we know the price of one item, then we can find the price of any number of items. Here, considering the price of one chocolate, it can be said certainly that the price of 10 chocolates will be 10 multiplied by 5 rupees is equal to 50 rupees. Therefore, the outcome of this event is certain. On throwing the dice, 8 will be obtained. On dice, only number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 are marked. Therefore, it is impossible to get 8 when the dice is thrown. On randomly choosing a student from a class of 12 boys and 8 girls, it will be a boy. Here definitely, number of boys is more. But this does not mean that if a student is selected randomly, it will be a boy. It can also be a girl. That is, if a student is selected randomly, it will be a boy by chance. Means possibility. Next example. On throwing the dice, find the probability of getting the odd number. All possible outcomes of experiment of throwing the dice are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Therefore, all possible outcomes of the experiment are 6. Here, we have to find out the probability of getting the odd number. Favorable outcomes for obtaining the odd number is 1, 3, 5. In this way, for getting the odd number, the number of favorable outcomes is 3. Probability of any event is equal to number of outcomes for that event divided by number of all possible outcomes of the experiment. Hence, the probability of getting the odd number is number of outcomes for obtaining odd number divided by number of all possible outcomes of the experiment. In this way, the probability of getting the odd number is 1 by 2. Similarly, can you now find out the probability of getting an even number on throwing the dice? Try yourself. Next example. On some chits, each letter of the word intelligent is written and placed in a jar. If a chit is drawn from the jar without looking into it, what is the probability that N is written on it? Intelligent, this word has total 11 letters, that is, the number of chits will be 11. Therefore, total number of outcomes will be 11. This word has 2 N. So, there will be 2 chits on which N will be written. The chit drawn in this way there are two favorable outcomes for n. Hence, the probability of having n on the drawn chit is the number of favorable outcomes of the event divided by number of all possible outcomes which is equal to 2 by 11. Now, you can find out by your own that what is the probability that a vowel is written on the chit. So today we have learned some examples related to chance and probability. In the next video, we will see some misconceptions related to chance and probability. probability.